your eyewitness weather forecast. Good evening, meteorologist Santa Masausi here with your check in on the weather. We're looking at a time lapse of downtown Utica throughout the day today. We started off with temperatures in the 40s and we managed to get into the mid 60s during the afternoon with clouds building in throughout the day. Now for current conditions, we're sitting at 60 degrees and we have a light breeze out of the west at six miles per hour there. And take a look here. You can see the dew points in the upper 20s. And when there's such a large difference between the dew point temperature and the actual temperature, that means it's really, really dry outside. And we can see here on the muggy meter, it's not even making it on the board here for today. Though as we head into tomorrow, It'll still be comfortable by Friday. We're going to start to feel that uh, humidity really rising up and it's going to be uncomfortable and then downright tropical as we head into Saturday. So unfortunately, those dew points are going to rise and it's going to start to feel more humid as we head into this weekend. Now on current radar, we could see rain showers starting to move through here in central New York, mainly just in Otsego County. This will increase and become more widespread as we head into tonight. And for those low temperatures in the 40s for most areas, 42 there in Old Forge, 49 in Utica as well as Illion. And for our high High temperatures tomorrow, a little bit chillier in the North Country, 57 there in Old Forge, 64 in Utica as well as Illion, 63 in Cooperstown, and 66 in Oneonta. Now moving the future cast forward tonight, we'll continue to see those clouds increasing and rain showers moving in as we head into Thursday morning across the board here in central New York. It'll start to become more scattered on and off by the afternoon hours, though we can't rule out the possibility to see some isolated thunderstorms. And as we head into the evening hours, it'll start to clear up. We'll still have those clouds sticking around, though we will be dry. So good news if you're going to be going out to that Utica Comets game for tomorrow will be dry by around 5 p.m. Now we'll see mainly clear skies throughout the night into Friday morning. Then a mix of sun and clouds are expected throughout the day there. Now to recap for tonight, we'll have those rain showers moving through. Winds out of the east, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Low temperature at 49 degrees. As we head into tomorrow, those scattered rain showers throughout the day, like I said before, could see an isolated thunderstorm or two. Winds out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour, and those high temperatures getting into the mid-60s. Now as we head into tomorrow night, low temperatures in the upper 40s. And as we head into the highs for Friday, we're going to be in the 80s, feeling very, very unusually warm. And then the lower 90s as we hit Saturday, very, very hot there. And as we head into Sunday, then we're finally going to start to see some relief there with those warm temperatures, because even though the high temperature is at 84 degrees on Sunday, we have a cold front moving through. So that warm air is mainly going to be in the morning and early afternoon hours. And once that cold front hits, we'll have the chance to see some thunderstorms moving through, and that'll continue as we head into Sunday evening. Temperatures will drop by the start of next week. We'll be in the mid 60s for highs on Monday, though we'll start to warm up again by midweek will be in the mid 70s by Tuesday and eventually the lower 80s by Wednesday with a chance to see some scattered rain showers there. Lauren. Well, thanks, Dan. Looking forward to that warm weather this weekend. Yeah, definitely will be nice and feeling a lot like summer. Here's a look at what's